Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. Uh, we're going up to Kroger because Kroger's got a Black Friday sale going out at the marketplace we want to check out, right? That is correct. So we're going to head up to Kroger, check out some of the deals. We also got to do a little bit of shopping too because they've got the uh, sales going on as well for the week, which we haven't gone over yet. Uh, before we get into the video though, love for you to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't done so already. Hit that bell notification button below as well. That'll notify you when our next video goes up. Please hit the like button. It'll help us out immensely. Is there anything specific we're going to be looking for? Milk is on sale this week. Did you say something about blueberry muffins? Well, that was, I just said milk, but I did say <laughs> blueberry muffins earlier. That's what I thought I heard you say. So uh, let's get parked. We'll check out some uh, digital deals at uh, Kroger. Check out some Black Friday sales as well and uh, see if we can save you a little money. Hang tight. They've got a digital deal on wreaths. They do. We have a wreath that we've had for years that we'll put on the front door here. And it's not real. So these are real holiday wreaths. This yep. is a classic holiday wreath. 22 inch, uh, 22 inch select varieties of classic holiday wreaths, $9.99. Let me just. Well, remember, I can't touch pine because I'm allergic to it. Which is why everything we've got is fake. Yeah. So. It's, it's those allergies. But it is normally $14.99. Yeah, and they do have some other wreaths here as well, but those are normal priced. They do also have mini trees here, tabletop holiday trees. Mm -hmm. So the one thing about real trees and wreaths, especially trees, you have to water them just to keep them alive during the season. A lot of people though like the smell of the pine, which is uh, why you have a holiday tree inside. Uh, me, I could care less, but there is pine scent that you can add to your artificials that'll give you that smell as well. Wow. Oh no. What a great price for these. Oh no. Cinnamon rolls for two fifty each with your card. Put them in the microwave for 10 seconds. And heat them up. Uh, Great for those holiday guests so you don't have to make breakfast. You know what? Much as I'd like to get my hands on those, um, I'm going to pass this time because I've got some other things in mind. Guess what we're not going to do? What? Get bananas. We got bananas the other day and we have plenty. Yeah, I got actually extra bananas because I want to make banana bread. I call these salad tomatoes. Is that what they are? Well, I guess they have to, they're petite cherry snacking tomatoes. You can put them on a salad. Uh, right now, they're a digital deal at $1.99, the 10-ounce packages. Uh, they've got the different varieties. They've got the, what are these, the greenhouse-grown uh, regular. They have the medley as well. So they've got, uh, if you like the different colors, or if you just like the red tomatoes, either way, $1.99. For 10 ounces. For 10 ounces. So this is the reason I did not get the cinnamon rolls. Oh, is it the blueberry muffins? The blueberry muffins. They're a digital deal right now at three ninety nine. So, and I love me some blueberry muffins. Oh, look at those. Those look really, really good. And the calories aren't bad on blueberry oh, muffins. Oh, yeah, right. They're 100, not bad. They're 450 they're, calories. They're not bad. They're not bad. That's pretty significant. I think those are less calories, though, than the cinnamon rolls would have been. The example here's the cinnamon rolls. What's the calories on the cinnamon rolls? Well, for the same amount. Okay. Almost. Almost. So I'm looking at the ad, and the ad has the blueberry muffins, but it also says the 12 count glazed donuts. And we've not been able to find those, so. What's your price point for the uh, pork shoulders, hon? 99 cents. This is a significantly higher, but remember, prices of meats have been going up. Yeah, and the thing, the only thing that we really look at when we buy one of these things, I know that you like to go for the least amount. No. But I, I look for one that fits in the crock pot. Yeah, it's the one that fits in the crock pot. <laughs> the issue is we have some that don't fit in the crock pot because what I do is I buy them when they're on sale and I freeze them. Right. And since I freeze them, I throw them in frozen. And Just then, let them set for a couple of days. And then well, I don't defrost them. I just literally just take them out and just throw them in. Yeah, I know. And then I just cook it. Really easy. But uh, I, th I think all of these are a little bit big for fitting in our crock pot. Uh, this one may work. Like I said, you just have to make sure you can either fit in the crock pot or you can... The thing about pork shoulder butt roast is that it's about smoking. And smoking it in a smoker is actually the best way to do it. Or you can even cook it in the oven. Now, one of my boys has a smoker, so... 
I think we're going to try and smoke one of these this coming uh, either over the winter or in the spring. So if you want to stock up for uh, soda, the two liter bottles heading into the holidays, uh, two liter bottles are 99 cents each. That is a great price, Ashley. Uh, and it's Coke, Pepsi, and 7-Up products. So that includes Dr. Pepper. That includes Mountain Dew. Uh, that includes Orange Crush. Um, all your Pepsi products, all your Coke products, um, all your 7-Up products. The two liter bottles. Orange Crush, cents. honey, your favorite. I know. I love Orange Crush. Do I get one? Um, you know, right now, yes. Matter of fact, I do. We actually should, because we're going to have people over the holidays, easily good. Yeah. Do we want to get more? Well, what else is over here? There's Pepsi. There's Wild Cherry Pepsi. Well, you also have the Coke products, which right. are Where's the going Coke to be in the next aisle. All okay. the Coke products is in the next aisle. So uh, they, they have Coke and 7-Up products, in, or Coke and Pepsi products in two different aisles. Did we want to get 7-Up or did we want to get Sprite? Well, we have Sprite already. I thought we wanted ginger ale because someone's a little rough right now. I mean, I know this is Steve's yeah, voice. I do want to get ginger ale. So there's burners. Um, the only Canada Dry that I've got is the Zero Sugar, and I've never had that before, so I don't know how good it is. No, it's not that good. It's okay. Let's just get burners. Let's get the burners, ginger ale, which is what you need right now. Or Seagram's. How about Seagram's? They have right Seagram's? Uh huh. Oh, I can have Seagram's. Honey, put that back where it's supposed to be. I will. I will. So he's getting Seagram's ginger ale. So that's two. And then get a uh, regular Coke. What is a regular Coke? And for guests that comes over, because we don't usually have regular Coke. Uh, they're almost out. Wow. Right there. He's getting regular Coke. Do you want to get just one or two? One is fine. You're allowed up to five. So again, we're stocking up for guests that are coming over. And I don't think we need all five, but I did want to get a Sprite. Okay, so there's four. I think we're good with that. A decision. What? Root beer floats. Okay. So that's our five then. So we did get, end up getting five. Rice Aroni. The San Francisco. I can't even sing today, can I? You can't because no. of your voice. Thank you very much. Uh, rice aroni, um, the regular rice aroni, and also the rice, the roni pasta. Right, seventy nine cents each. That is a great deal on rice aroni. The only thing about rice aroni, I will say, if you're going to do rice aroni, look at the salt content. Yes, it's a little high in salt. Yes. We were really bad. We used yeah. to eat these all the time when we first got married because mm -hmm. it was easy and cheap. Yep. And the but, problem is a lot of times when it's easy and cheap, it's also not that great for you. But I will tell you right now, rice roni is very, very good. I have not seen this. I know it's been here, but I just have not seen it. Cheetos mac and cheese. Cheetos mac and cheese, bold and cheesy, flaming hot, cheesy jalapeno, four cheese, cheesy bacon, cheesy ranch. All a digital deal right now. 79 cents each. I didn't realize how many flavors there were of that. Of Cheetos mac and cheese. I've never tried Cheetos mac and cheese. I've always gotten the blue box. DiGiorno is a digital deal right now. $4.99 on the digital deal. So you're five bucks each. Not the best price in the world. But remember, it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Uh, they've got a lot of different varieties, uh, including four cheese, four meat. Uh, what about pepperoni? Carnivore, Supreme, mm -hmm. lots of different flavors. I did want to mention Jack's Pizza because there was a special on Jack's Pizza. Okay. And the price on Jack's Pizza was not bad. What, four for ten? Yeah, it's getting back to what it was pre pandemic pricing. I remember getting these as pre slow. Pre pandemic pricing, right? Pre pandemic pricing. Um, it used to be $2 a piece, you could get them as low as $2 a piece, but this week, if you buy four or more, it is four for ten. Yeah. Comes at two fifty a piece. We used to stock up on these all the time for the children. When this was a quick them. and easy one when it was cheaper pizza that you could just throw in the oven. Um, don't get me wrong; it's good pizza. DiGiorno's better, Red Baron's better, but uh, Jack's is a good price and it's a good substitute. And just remember, pizza usually goes on sale during the holidays and or during 
the big game and all football games. Oh yeah, just the, you just just wait until the end of uh, January, going into the beginning of February. Wow, this is a really good price. This we might want to take advantage of. Yeah. Do we have freezer space? We do for this one. The frozen breast chicken tenders, twenty nine ounces. Let's see, they've got Dino Nuggets. We have Dino Nuggets right now. That's not in it. That's not that's in not it. That's not in it. You have to see the one that's four ninety nine. There is that one, the chicken, chicken breast, breast tenders. tenders. And there is also down here the panko chicken nuggets. The panko chicken nuggets are really good. Okay, so what am I getting? Um, let's check the ounces. How many ounces? 29. I would do the panko chicken nuggets. They've also got up here the snackers. What is the snackers? Uh, no. Snackers. Chicken breast and vegetables. No, we'll do the uh, panko chicken nuggets. All right. How's that? One or two. One is fine. Okay. One of the things I will say about the marketplace compared to our Kroger uh -huh. is they have a lot more uh, variety when it comes to like Christmas stuff and things like that because our Kroger doesn't have a lot of room. But this one does. Ooh, they have gnomes. I think I'm gnomed out. Yeah. Um, and they have a... A lighted gnome. They have Santa. They have snowmen. Um, but they do have a lot of merchandise here for Christmas. And they do have 30% off certain things. So you just have to take a look at it. How they lights, wrap, trim a tree, tabletop, and more with your card. So just take a look at what is on sale. I have the feeling we're not going to buy new stuff this year. I think we've got enough. Uh, but if I see something that I want, I'll probably pick it up. Because we, we like to get keepsakes every year, uh, especially for the grandkids now. But we used to do it for our kids every year. Uh, but maybe for the grandkids, we'll look for something special to put on the tree uh, about the grandkids. These are the tiny ones. Yeah. Some of the varieties of a Quaker cereal are a digital deal this week for uh, 99 cents, which is a really good price. Uh, Life cereal. Let's get Mikey to try it. Mikey eats anything. Um, Life cereal. They've got the original. They've got the cinnamon. Um, and there's also other ones down through here. We just have to find them. But look for the different varieties of Quaker cereal because I think, hang on, I think Chex is also part of that. Hang on. Yeah, Chex is, uh, that's what you make Chex mix out. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. No, not Chex, but uh, Crunch Berries. Crunch Berries. Crunch Berries. Crunch berries. So if we find Crunch Berries. Not checks. Checks is not part of that digital deal. Oh. But crunch berries are. Okay. You can find crunch berries. Sorry, not checks, but life. Where's the crunch berry? Where's this? I don't know. Oh, here it is down here. Do you find it's, it? Yep, down here. We're walking down. There it is. Like I said, it's a smaller packaging, which is good if you just want to try it. Yeah. Like, I love the peanut butter crunch. I think I may get the peanut butter crunch. You know me, a peanut butter crunch. Right here. They have the all berries. You like the all berries? And they have also red berries. I just actually like eating these, not with any milk. I, I like the original Captain Crunch. That was my favorite, the original Captain Crunch. They're 99 cents, honey. You could try it. No, I'm good with that. I've actually gotten out of, the, the only cereals I really eat right now, I eat Wheaties. Um, I'll eat Rice Krispies and put bananas on them, and I'll eat Cheerios. Here's another digital deal if you want to pick it up. Uh, Lay's Stacks. Uh, 99 cents. The chips, the different flavors, uh, including sour cream and onion, the regular... They've got uh, cheddar. They've got salt and vinegar. Are they actually potato chips or not potato chips? Remember that whole controversy? Oh, that was with Pringles, yeah. Right. So pr are, Pringles are not potato chips. You can't call Pringles potato chips. So are these actually potato chips or not? They're not calling them potato chips. Even I the don't stacks? Potato chips. It just says stacks. You're right. Let's see the back. Just want to make sure it does not say potato chips anywhere on here. No. So kind of like the Pringles things, they're like processed chips. So they can't actually say potato chips because they're not really potato chips. But I do like my Pringles and I do like my stacks. So they have different size of Lay's chips, uh, kettle cooked and regular for a $2.99 on a digital deal. I've only found one sign here, um, but they do have the different varieties. And these, but from what I can tell, it's the party size. The party size? The so party size, yeah. I think it may be farther down. Um, but they also have dip on sale, too. Which one? Um, whichever one that dip is right there. The Lay's chips. The Lay's dips. It must be on the other side. So they've got, it's, uh, this is a different Kroger than we normally go to, so we're kind of like hunting a little bit. Yeah, I feel like lost in this Kroger because I don't know where anything is. 
Yeah, until they refresh it again on our Kroger, we can't find anything there. I think we're going to get two half gallons of milk. Right. And do you know why? Because it's cheaper than a full gallon of milk put together. Dollar twenty-nine and a dollar twenty-nine is two fifty-eight. Right. Full gallon is two sixty-nine. So you're going to save yourself a dime by getting two half gallons rather than a full gallon. And also, milk. it's easier for us to pick up. Yes, it more. is. So get your two half gallons, honey. Yeah, they're all December 9th. I used to grab these all the time to put in my lunchbox. Um, Jell-O pudding cups and Jell-O Jell cups. J-E-L-L-O. Um, $1.49 right now for the four packs on a digital deal. My favorite was this one right here. That I used one? to love that one, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, some of the energy drinks um, are a digital deal right now. Bang and rain and... Uh, I'm not up on energy drinks, but... Dollar forty nine each for those. If you're uh, into energy drinks, these are the singles, not the four packs. The singles are digital deals at a dollar forty nine. You're like half price off regular pricing. Yeah, yeah, energy drinks are expensive. I remember having to buy a case of Monsters for the kids as they were as they were in their teens and early twenties, and it's like thirty three bucks for a case of Monsters. Here are the uh, Monsters that are also a part of that digital deal at a dollar forty nine each. Remember, it's max of five. Mm -hmm. So you figure $1.49 times five. Nine dollars. Yeah. Is that right? Three, six, seven fifty. Seven fifty. Boy, my math is bad today. Thing about the Kroger Marketplace, they have a lot more toys. And of course, as you know, Barbie is the hot movie this year. Mm -hmm. And they have basically. A lot of footage on Barbie. A lot. I'm seeing stuff like 50% off. Right. On some of the Barbies. Barbie cars, Barbie stuff. Another one of the hot toys this year is going to be Legos. Well, it is every year. Um, I think I saw something where there's 150,000 Legos made every minute and legos have to be made so precisely mm -hmm. because of how they stack there's no error in making legos no and some of the people i mean you, have you seen lego masters on television uh-huh uh, some of the creations that people make with legos are, are i i couldn't do that that is so creative um and they just they they do it without kits they do it it's not a kit, they just do it. Some of the games are also a Black Friday deal right now at Kroger, buy one, get one free. Jenga, Yahtzee, uh, Rummy Cube. Um, what else do they got here? They've got Monopoly. A Rummy Cube is not, but Rummy Scrabble. Okay, Scrabble, um, Wordle. What else have they got here? Um, Candyland. Let's see. Chutes and Ladders. Oh, my kids played Chutes and Ladders when they were growing up. Lots of different games. And board games for younger kids. Um, and again, keep an eye on the, uh, like, for ages uh, four and up. Um, don't buy something that's going to be over the top for your youngin. What's your favorite game? My favorite game of all time. I love Jenga. I love Yahtzee. Now, those are the two games that I really like. I can play Monopoly, but I always lose. I like Scrabble. I never, I never got into Scrabble. I never did get into Scrabble. I know that there's tournaments and everything else with Scrabble. Uh, Operation, by the way, that's also one of the buy one, get one frees. Battleship, Connect Four, Twister, lots of games on sale. Mm-hmm. Buy one, get one free. So the question I always ask, did we save more than we spent? We did not. Um, did pick up a few things um, that we needed, picked up a few things that we wanted, picked up a few things that were on sale, uh, took a look at some Black Friday deals on toys, because um, we're going to start thinking about buying grandkids stuff um, for Christmas this year. So we're just getting some ideas of things that are going to be on sale, and hopefully we gave you a few ideas as well. Um, and hopefully by the next time I do my next video, my voice will be back. But uh, um, did we get everything we wanted? Yes, we did. Did we save any money? 
We saved some money. We saved like 26 bucks. Mm -hmm. We spent 38. So. Okay. So not quite, but uh, man, hopefully we can save you a little bit of money when you go shopping. Uh, digital deals at Kroger this week. It's uh, a short week. Yes, it is. So you know, this is Friday and it's, all, it's a four day sale basically mm -hmm. because of the short week. So we will see you back here again next Thursday for the digital deals for next week with Kroger. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell notification button below. That'll notify you when that video goes up. And please hit the like button too. It does help us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Trying to save you a little bit of money with digital deals and more at Kroger. And have a magical day.